Probably the first film, which I hadn't even seen as a whole, but had an impact on me was uh, James Whale's Frankenstein because my mother brought me to the local library when I was young and they were showing clips from the Universal monster films. So they had, you know, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and they had this, the, the burning windmill sequence from Frankenstein. And I just, from that day on, the next day I wanted to make films. Like that was just watching uh, Boris Karloff and the internal mechanism of that windmill as it's burning. I just, that image just burned itself onto my prefrontal cortex there. It's a prefrontal lobe. So uh, anyway, so that was like the first one. Moving forward after that, of course, I was growing up at a time where, you know, Star Wars was obviously big. And then the next week, next year it was Close Encounters. Close Encounters some suddenly became the thing. Then Jaws came onto HBO and that became the thing. So I was a very Spielberg, Lucas thing going on until high school. High school was all about like, started to go into genre, real genre films, like uh, Dawn of the Dead was huge for me. And um, and I, what I loved about Dawn of the Dead was that it's, it's very much like, um, if you think about it, it's very similar to what Jordan Peele is doing with Get Out. It's, it, it's taking, it's taking a genre um, structure or yeah, and delivering a, a social and political message. And then I started leaning as I got older in high school, do the right thing, Jim Jarmusch's mystery train, those started, those started to take hold. I went to NYU film school. And I think during those four years, I found British social realism. Mike Lee had a very big impact on me with Naked. Um, I was also finding French New Wave, so the Eric Romer moral tales, Claire's knee, that, that, that stuff was really kicking in. And then I have to say, I didn't get fully entrenched into Cassavetes until right after college. So that's when I really started really taking in, uh, you know, US independent cinema, but knowing that Cassavetes was really the godfather of it. And then from that point on, I was really into, you know, social social realist cinema and the Dogma 95 movement kicked in and, and Lars von Trier's The Idiots, which was actually the second Dogma, Dogma film. The first one was The Celebration, Idiots was second. The Idiots had a profound effect on me. I mean, uh, I don't think I would have made that film take out my, the film I co-directed with Xi Ching Zhou unless the Dogma 95 movement had said, it's okay to pick up a mini DV camera and then attempt to make a feature, you know? So it, it gave me, it was democratizing filmmaking. It gave me, to, the, even though I had already made my first film on 35, it was like a, for me, it was like a rebirth. And then from that point on, it's been, um, you know, I look at I look at the films of like uh, Lars von Trier, um, Ulrich Seidel, you know, Import Export, The Paradise Trilogy. I think they're masterpieces. Um, Ruben Ostlund, I think, is probably the best thing going right now. All of his films, Involuntary Play, Force Majeure. I haven't seen The Square yet. I bet I have to see The Square. Um, so uh, those are sort of all. Those are the big films in my life. Oh, Bad Lieutenant, Abel Ferrara's Bad Lieutenant. I mean, I was a New Yorker, so, you know, that meant a lot to me, that film. Um, yeah, I hope that's pretty much it.